Now let us look into the program which includes a student record using array of structures. The main purpose of this program is to maintain the record of n number of student details using an array of structures with four fields. Those four fields are the roll number, the name, marks and also the grade. Each field is of an appropriate data type and we need to print the marks of the student whose name has been given as input. The input for this program is the n number of student details along with a student name. The output of this program is to print all the details of the student and also we need to print the marks of a given student name which has been inserted as an input. Now before going into the program let us understand the logic of the same. To understand the logic of this program now we will study an important concept known as structures. What are structures? Structures are the collection of dissimilar data types. The syntax for the same is given by struct name. Here struct is a keyword followed by the name of the structure along with the declaration of their corresponding variables. We like to mention that inside the name of the structure we have opening of the brackets inside which we have variables 1, 2, etc. up to variable n with their respective data types. And we will close it using a flower brackets and place a semicolon. An instance of the structure can be created here or we can also create it separately. Now an example of the same is as follows, struct student. Here we can see that struct is a keyword followed by the name of the structure that is student. Here we have different variables along with their data types like roll number and marks are the variables which are declared with integer data type followed by name and grade which are declared with character data type. The output of this program would be consisting of roll number, name, marks and grade of n number of students. In this case, I have taken only two students as an example which consists of Anand and Santosh. At the end, if I give any existing name of the student, it should fetch me the marks. For example, if I give Santosh as the input name, it should print the marks of Santosh is 80. This is the logic behind our program. Now let us look into the program to maintain a record of students using structures. The very first line as we know that includes hash include studio.h which is the preprocessor directive along with standard input output library header file and the next line is hash include conio.h which stands for console input output header file. The very next line after that is struct student which is the initialization or declaration of a structure. As I told you in the logic part struct student involves struct the keyword followed by the name of the structure along with the fields. Here the fields are variables along with corresponding data types. The variables are roll number and marks of integer data type, name and grade of character data type and we terminate the structure. Next we go for void main function from where the execution of our program starts. Inside the main the very first line is the declaration part where we have i, n and found which is initialized to 0 are the three variables which are declared with integer data type. Next this is a very important step where we are declare we are instantiating a instance of a structure. Here struct is a keyword followed by student an existing structure with s of 10. 
Here X of 10 indicates it is an array of structure which can hold up to 10 student values. Now we have a field character S name of 20. This is used to search for an input name in the given list of student names whose marks have to be fetched. Next we have is clear screen which is used to clear the output screen. Next we have to enter the total number of students for that it is inserted using printf statements and scanned using scanf statement here n consists of total number of students which are involved. If the value of n is 2 then we say that there are total number of 2 students whose database has been created. If n is 10 there are totally 10 students. Next we have is for loop which consists of i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Here for loop runs from 0 to n that is 0 to n minus 1 where from the first student to the last student. Now we need to enter the percentage d student details that is the very first student details. We are entering the roll number. The roll number which has been entered will be scanned using percentage d and here we need to observe that we have ampersand s of i dot roll number. This is how we access an array of structure using the dot operator. S of i consists of array of students dot indicates we are accessing and roll number indicates we are accessing the roll number field. Similarly, we need to insert the name of a student and also we need to scan f using percentage s since it is character in nature. And we will enter the marks which is inserted using percentage d ampersand s of i dot marks. Finally, the grade which is inserted. Next, we need to make sure that here all the dot operators whatever we have used are used for accessing an array of structure. Finally, we have f flush of standard input files that is used for s of i dot grade. Next, we need to display the inserted student details. Till now, we are done with insertion of all the details say for example, the roll number, name, marks as well as grade. Now, we need to display the same which has been inserted. For that, we need to have a heading which is displayed in printf statement. Slash t indicates we are having an escape sequence known as the tab. Next, since we have inserted the values one by one, we need to display the value one by one. Hence, we have this for loop i is equal to 0 less than n i plus plus. Similarly, all the format specifiers along with their variables, here the variables are nothing but array of structure along with their fields with the usage of dot operators. We can note that s of i dot roll number, name, marks and grade is the pattern in which we are displaying. Now, we need to so, next line is enter the student name to print the marks. Here we give the name of a student which is existing in order to fetch the marks. Here that will be scanned and stored in yes name. This compares strcmp is a string function which is used to compare the input name to that of structure existing name. Here we can note that s of i dot name is an array of structure name and s name is the value name which we have just now given as an input. If both of them matches then we can find that a name of that particular name is being existing inside our array. Then the marks of the corresponding student will be fetched. The found field is set to 1. If this condition fails, then the found is set to 0, then we can confirm that the student name is not found and this returns 0. 
the program is ready for compiling and execution. Now we will compile the program to check for its errors. The compiling can be done using Alt F9. Here we can clearly see that there are no warnings and no errors and it is ready for execution. The execution is done using Control F9 and it asks enter the total number of student details. Here we like to mention the value of n. Suppose if I give the value of n as 3, I need to insert totally 3 student details. Enter the roll number. It is asking us to enter the roll number of the first student. The first student roll number for example, I will give it as 101 and name. I will give it as Anand followed by marks 90. Finally, the grade A. Now it is asking us to enter the details of second student. I will give the roll number as 102 followed by Bharat and the marks as 70 followed by the grade as B. Finally, one more student name 103, the name as Santosh, the marks as say 45 and the grade is C. Here we are done inserting the student details of all the three students since the value of n was 3. Now we can clearly see that it is being displayed as the student details are roll number 101, 102, 103, names Anand, Bharat, Santosh, marks 90, 70, 45, grade A, B, C. Now we need to enter the student name to print the marks. For example, if I want to print the marks of Anand, I will just enter the name of Anand. Anand. See, we need to be careful here. A N A N D Anand is an existing name and we should check whether the marks of the Anand is displayed. We can clearly see that the marks of the student is 90. In the above table, we can see that the Anand name marks is 90 and it matches. And we will run one more time to make sure that the condition fails. I will give the total number of students as 2. The first 101 followed by Anand whose marks is same 90 grade A. 102 Santosh whose marks is 80 and the grade is A. Now I will search for the name Santosh is existing, I will search for the name Bharat which is not existing. Then we can clearly see the output as given student name not found. This completes a program to maintain a record of students using structures.